2013 450 shootout for Trans World and just hanging out, waiting for everyone to get here and set up so we can go rip up the new bikes and see how they all are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I woke up at 5.30 to come to Racetown, so it's pretty early. Are you pumped to ride dirt bikes all day? I'm pumped to ride dirt bikes all day. I haven't rode since the last shootout, so I'll have some fun. Instagramming the shootout at TWMX.com. Blowing out at J Hunt 853. <laughs> Is it going to be a good day of testing? I hope so. We don't have a we don't have a test rider named Jordan Powell to cartwheel two of the bikes and destroy them <laughs> this year in our shootout. So I think it's going to be good. Well, before we uh, get these out on the track, we need to get our lead spread photo down. So we're going to attempt to make these look good, or as good as a line of 450s can look. Yeah, I'm excited, dude. I'm stoked. You know, never had this really this opportunity. Don approached me, I was a little, uh, a little tentative, you know. I think I was shaking in my boots, and I didn't even have any on. But, uh, no, stoked for the day, never done it. So and, you never uh, done this? No, never done a test. Did he tell you my story? No, no he didn't, but uh, hopefully I, totaled, I can learn from your bad. I totaled two bikes. Oh, no, no, I, I don't plan on totaling bikes, knock on wood. Nice pickup kit. Thank you. You know, just roll to the track every once in a while. So that works out for me. Before and afters, they're gonna, get, they're gonna get nasty. Oh, look at that, it's a pretty little hand. They're gonna get nasty. Too much time in the office. <laughs> Rich. Yo. Are you excited? I'm so stoked. All day riding? This is what I'm so stoked about. Oh, you're just chilling. I'm gonna be Don today chilling, on man. one bike, and I'm gonna <laughs> chill. I really like the Honda, you know. I was a little bit skeptical about it coming into the day with the dual exhaust going back to that whole system, but the bike was amazing through the turns. Like, it just felt so balanced. Like, the weight and the ergonomics of it felt perfect, and uh, the bike was fast as well, and I just loved it. I think uh, throw a pipe on there, it kind of didn't have that much over it seemed like to me, but I mean, that's easily fixable. So, I chose Honda 450 so. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the Kawasaki just because it's the bike I ride. You know, it's my personal bike and just felt right at home right away on it. The motor on it is so good, it has such a good hit, but uh, it's, it's a good hard hit yet it's really manageable and controllable and uh, I think pulls up top so good. It's, 
second, all the gears, like second, third gear, just feel like they pull forever on that thing. And uh, you know, the good bottom with how the gears pull long compared to some of the other bikes. Uh, I feel like the suspension was really good on it. I feel like it was really plush for my liking, and um, I feel like it soaked the bumps up good and handled good. And, uh, turned pretty good. Not the best turning bike and the best handling bike, but just solid. The whole bike was just felt like a solid package from motor, chassis, suspension, handling, just everything. So, and it's what I'm used to. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Cowie for number one. And uh, I don't know, it's close. All the bikes are so good, but uh, that was my first choice. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the yellow machine. I'm looking at the uh, the Suzuki 450. I think that um, certainly kind of suited my style, and uh, you know, I actually had the opportunity to ride it later on in the day and um, seem to handle really well through a lot of the rougher sections, under braking, um, just all around great bike. And uh, uh, from past bikes that I've ridden, uh, like I said, I think that this thing as an overall um, lended itself to my ability um, and uh, something that I would certainly um, you know, push on other people to uh, uh, look into as far as the Suzuki, uh, Suzuki 450. So what do you want to know? You want to know what my first place bike is? Yeah. Is that what this is about? Yeah. We've got the Yamaha, we've got the Suzuki, the KTM 450 and 350, the Kawasaki, and the Honda. And I got to put one on top. That's what this is all about, I guess, isn't it? Based on my professional... I don't know if I can do that. It sounds easy. It sounds easy, but it really isn't that easy. Because, you know, at the end of the day, anybody can get on any one of these and win races. But, if I had to choose a winner for me, for this track, today, I gotta say the RMZ. The RMZ didn't have the best motor, it didn't have the best suspension, but I just felt so good on it. I could get the insides, I could hook the insides in the corners so easy, the thing stuck through the, you know, off the jumps, through the rolling whoops, and it just, for me, again, this is all about me, but I felt really good on it. I think the bike worked really well today, and um, that's my number one today. For me, the first choice is the Kawasaki. Right when I get on that bike, it just feels comfortable. The ergonomics are comfortable. I like right where the bars are, the pegs, the seat ratio. Everything just feels like home. It's fast. I think it's one of the fastest bikes in the class. It handles good. It turns good. I just get on it, and just it just feels comfortable. I just felt. It felt easy to go fast on it with the least amount of effort. So after all the points were tallied, the Suzuki RMZ 450 is the, is the class winner this year. Bike just corners extremely well. It's got a great motor, hits hard off the bottom, great mid-range, good uh, over rev up on top. The handling is so precise. It just goes where you point it, corners quickly, feels light. Everything about it is just is really solid.